Hi, Mark Diaz here for 2DAnimation101.com. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to use smart inverse kinematics in Cartoon Animator 4. Now, for those new to the concept, what's IK? It's, it's spelled IK. So what is inverse kinematics? Okay, there's two types of kinematics. One is forward kinematics and two, inverse kinematics. The first type is doing this. I take, for example, this arm and then I rotate and then everything after this bone that is going forward, this forward kinematics, is being affected. The other one is inverse kinematics. Inverse kinematics it means that if I take the last point, then everything behind will move, right? Will adapt. So inverse kinematics helps you move your characters very, very easily and very, very fast. Now in Cartoon Animator 4, we have smart inverse kinematics. What are they? Okay, smart kinematics means that you can have a bone and switch, switch it between inverse kinematics and being stuck there. Let me explain what I mean by stuck. So if I go to Cartoon Animator 4, and I take this character, for example. You can see the steps, right? We have the, the feet right there. And if I take the character and I go down, you can see that there's the floor. So this character has the, the feet stuck there. That is very good. But what if I want this character to go up, right? But up without the feet being stuck there. Look. I go up and, and then it's still stuck. So what if I wanted this character to, instead of bending the knees, just move all the character down? Well, for that, let me undo all of that. All I have to do is uncheck these little locks. Look, if I un unlock them, boom, now I can move this character like that. And now the feet are free. And if I put only one feet, look, he can be climbing a stair. So that is pretty cool. Not only that, but also this lock can be animated. Let me undo. And I'm just going to show you a quick animation. Maybe I want this character to go down like this. So look at what I have. Tick. Look, now he's going down. Book, book. You see? This is super cool. And I can also, not only does that work for the feet, I'm going to undo all of that. Let me just press Control Z until I have everything as it was. And now what I'm going to do is I can take the, I can do the same for the hands. I can take one hand and then lock it, and then the other one and lock it, and then take the hip. And look, now he can be doing pull ups. <sighs> So this is pretty cool. And in general, that's how you do it. It's very easy. All you have to do is lock the, either the hands or the feet and then unlock them. And all the locks and unlocks uh, can be animated. So this is super cool. I hope this t taught you how to do one little animation in the demo reel of Cartoon Animator where you see a character doing this, right? Or you can take a, a character that grabs something and then pulls himself over. So you can do a lot of stuff with this. And now it's super duper easy with Smart IK. This is it. Okay, so I hope you learned a lot. This is Mark Diaz for 2 animation 11com Until next time, take care.